we have a waterfront site and it is just water all around us is beautiful <laughs> Boondocking at our Harvest Host site in Lenore City was a great new experience for us, but now it's time to pack up and head south toward Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee is part of the famous Route 64 tour which takes you all the way from the Outer Banks of North Carolina to the Four Corners in Arizona. We finally get to the campground known as Skull Island which is just a little bit north of Chattanooga, Tennessee. This place has some of the best sights right on the water. This place does have water and electric hookup but no sewer. It's times like this that I'm glad we have a trailer that's as small as it is because there's no way we could get a big rig in a site like this. After setting up camp, we headed to downtown Chattanooga to check out the famous Chattanooga Choo Choo. I brought my jacket. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. What yeah. is it with cold and Chattanooga? I don't know. Really, they turned that drain into an escape room. <laughs> this historic place was once a bustling railway station, but it has now been turned into a hotel with many restaurants and shops. We decided to have dinner at a familiar place called the Frothy Monkey. We've been here for breakfast before, but never for dinner. I have to say, though their dinner menu is really, really good, the breakfast menu is even better. We just had dinner at the Frothy Monkey. Now we've gone to this place for breakfast before. Dinner was good, breakfast is better. They used to have cars on this train that you could stay in, like hotel rooms. Um, that does not seem to be going on anymore, but there's a lot of restaurants, bars, things like that, shops um, that you can go to in this little area, and they are really reviving it right now. Uh, we love Chattanooga. We've um, explored this area before. This is just a stop along the way, but we spent our evening exploring and having a good time. And there's a beautiful view from this campground. This is Skull Island Campground. We'll show you more about this, but it is incredible. We have a waterfront site, and it is just water all around us. It's beautiful.
Good morning, guys. This campground is so beautiful. This is Skull Island Campground um, in Tennessee. We're about 30 minutes from Chattanooga. We drove into Chattanooga last night, had a great dinner at the Frothy Monkey, which is a place we visited before. So we went back. Um, this campground is amazing. Look at this view. It's incredible. Uh, we love Chattanooga. We love this area. Um, but we're about to head to Huntsville. So exciting things coming for the rest of the week. Uh, talk to you more. Instead of a pool, this campground offers a designated swimming area right in the river, which was not very far from our campsite. You can launch paddle boards and canoes and boats right from your campsite. One thing you cannot do, however, is have any kind of an electrical appliance outside of your camper. This includes things like our Zini electric cooler, so it's very important to follow the rules, whether you agree with them or not. With a campground as beautiful as this, it was amazing that I was able to get such a nice sight at such a short notice. This is definitely a campground we would love to come back to someday. But for now, it's time to hitch up and head down to Huntsville, Alabama. But before we go, we'd like to share with you some other things to do in the Chattanooga area. The Incline Railway with its odd slanted cars has been taking people up and down Lookout Mountain for over a century now. The track goes up the mountain at an incredible 72 degree angle, making it the steepest passenger railway in the entire world. Once you reach the upper railway station, you will find a nice little gift shop with concession stand. Just a short walk from the upper railway station, you'll find the Battles for Chattanooga Civil War Museum. You will also find the beautiful Point Park, which is the only memorial park that commemorates both of the armies in the Civil War. This park is definitely a beautiful place with a beautiful view, and it's definitely worth the entry fee. Atop one of the memorials in the park, you'll find a very special statue known as Reconciliation, which shows a Union soldier and a Confederate soldier shaking hands and standing by the red, white, and blue. Another fun thing to see in the area is Ruby Falls which is the tallest underground waterfall that is known to be so far. There is actually a beautiful love story behind this waterfall, which is how the falls got its name. Leo Lambert discovered the falls accidentally and decided to name them after his lovely wife, Ruby. Coming down off of Lookout Mountain into the heart of downtown Chattanooga, you'll find a lot more fun things to do. Right along the river in the middle of town, you'll find many of parks and recreation areas. And in one of those recreation areas, you'll find Cardboard Hill, 
where people slide down the hill on cardboard boxes. So if you've got some young kids that need to burn some energy, this would be the perfect place to go. And you want to let them just run up and down a hill all day? This yes. would be the place to do it. This is called Cardboard Hill. And people slide down the hill on cardboard. I guess I'll walk back down. If I had a piece of cardboard, I'd slide on it. I would do it. Yeah. That's a hill right there. Not far from there, you'll find the Tennessee Aquarium, which features the one and only IMAX theater with laser in the state of Tennessee. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. We got more in store for you next week when we tour Rocket City. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for bloopers and until next time, happy camping. That's why they call it Skull Island. That has a lot of shops and a old train. Yeah, I think that's condos over there. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. I like it when I nail it on the first try.